You know, today's episode is a very sentimental one because we've finally come to the last episode of this season's uh, Woman of the Month. And in today's episode, I'm interviewing someone who is in an industry that really amazes me and it's larger than life. And all the more, she's a female in this industry. A female director who has shot for me before. So I'm really honoured to be speaking with her, Angit Gik. Hi, Gig Gig. Hello. Thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me. I haven't seen you for a long time. I know. The last time <laughs> I saw you was okay with, I think 2016 or 2015? No. It wasn't that long, right? I think it's that long. Oh my it's God. that long. <laughs> it's right just before I started Cheryl W. And actually, she shot a wellness journey and retreat for me um, in Phuket. That was really where I got a lot of inspiration for Cheryl W about mm-hmm. wellness, about healthy living. So I dragged her on a 10-day retreat to eat raw, vegan, to exercise, and she doesn't eat vegetables. Yeah, didn't really like, like the food, but I love the activity that was on the trip. Um, and over, I think I really enjoy your company. It was like, Aww. so fun. <laughs> That's the reason why I invited her here, right? <laughs> okay, anyway, okay, okay, okay. I want to ask you, um, you know, being a female director in a very male-dominated industry, right? Mm. Uh, how does it feel? And secondly, what are the, some of the challenges that you face and how you overcome it? Okay, I think, um, you know, like as female, you get a lot of attention uh, when you're working in a male-dominated industry because um, it's very rare to find a female working in this industry. Um, so there are like good and bad things about it. I mean like people can notice you very fast. They might give you a job because like, uh, sorry, people might notice you very fast because you're female. Uh, but I guess uh, one of the bad thing is when they notice you very fast, uh, if you make a mistake, they will pick on you very quickly also. So sometimes the industry can be quite um, unforgiving or rather like the people in the industry can be quite unforgiving um, and I think the second thing is like uh, you know people always say uh, women are too emotional and I guess um, being emotional um, can be a strength as well for women because that is where you are able to tell a better story and especially for like artists like us, um, I think I do best when I'm emotional actually. Uh, I write better script mm-hmm. because I put uh, the experiences, like my pain, the emotion that I like am feeling and pen it down onto my screen. And usually it will work quite well. So are you a self-taught director? Self-taught? No, actually I'm not. Do you I'm go to not. director school? Like, or, uh, or yes. Film, um, film school? So I'm always into art because like my very, or in fact, my only good memory that I had with my father was doing a painting work together. Um, my, okay, so a bit of background about myself. My family divorced, uh, my parents divorced when I was really young. So I was uh, raised up by my grandparents and I don't really see my parents parents that much so the only time that I enjoy doing uh, with my father was painting and I always like admire how like creative my father is Um, so when I was choosing uh, a course that I wanted to major I decided like okay maybe I should go into art school and study painting also, there's no painting school in Singapore. Then in the end, uh, I still decided to go into an art school. Um, when I was in an art school, I decided to major in filmmaking instead. At the start, it was not easy for me because like, uh, I didn't know what role I wanted to major because in film, you can choose different like roles to do. And usually, you know how as women, like. They will say, okay, women are always good at like, you know, makeup mm. or like styling, mojo mm. styling, or even like maybe the most they give you like producing work. So it's very hard for like me to direct uh, a project whenever like, you know, in, and you know like when it comes to filmmaking, it's always working together as a team. You don't really work alone. And I remember back then, I was very busy trying to, you know, 
um, make money uh, to pay off my school fees. So I'm not really in school. I was most of the time like working outside. Uh, and it's very hard for me to, you know, like, uh, work in a team. Rather than use words, to use um, the power of film and the power of visual. Yeah, correct. Right, to actually uh, talk about topics that are touchy about mm. um, and at the same time to educate the public. Yeah, correct. And to be a voice for the people who actually cannot speak up about all these yeah. things. Yeah, correct. Agree. So <laughs> then, you know, um, I think being in this industry, uh, you constantly have to create content, you have to continue to create and write new, new scripts. How then do you find your inspiration? Mm, like the converse, like how <laughs> we are talking right now. I think, um, I think, uh, I, I, I name it PCM. So P is like people I meet, like you, or uh, like, you know, um, E is like, uh, what's E? Shit, I forgot. Uh, yes, experiences, wow. Yeah. Experiences that I've been through. Um, then C is, what is C? <laughs> I forgot what is C. Our conversation that we create um, and M is like material that I read like newspaper or even books to give me inspiration. I think a lot of like my inspiration actually come from pain itself like the feeling that I uh, go through. Um, and translate it into film. Yeah, and translate into script then into film, yes. So you have PCM um, as your way to get inspiration. Then is there any quote that you live by? Um, I think every day I live by different quotes. And then one <laughs> of my favorite quotes is be like water. Because yeah, water. when you are like water, you can always be very flexible and you can I feel like you are like Sumu Kong, no? You can transform into a different state and then And uh, be adaptable. Yeah, adaptable is very happening. important because I'm always constantly working with different people and mm. I have to direct uh, you know people with different personalities. So I guess sometimes it's like you know you, you suck their vibe and then you kind of like <laughs> get to know a bit more about their personality and that helps me you know after knowing their story then it helps me to direct them better because sometimes we cast talent not because just of their performance it can be like because of their backstory mm -hmm. and and the character in the film can be very close to their personality in real life so it then it's easier because you don't really have to act, act it out, yeah, you know. Yeah. And you know you are also an um, uh, uh, actress yourself. Yeah, so you know sometimes director like to know a bit of the, the yeah, actor yeah. backstory. What's one thing you take away from a very healthy lifestyle ritual? That's one thing I, I make sure I do it um, uh, daily is meditation. Mm. Because sometimes, sometimes it's like, wow. No, dealing with people is always not easy. I'm sure you understand that. <laughs> then you want to get angry, but you, you know that's not the uh, best way to actually deliver the message across. So how many minutes of meditation do you do? It can be just like, now I'm angry, I just like meditate for a quick 10 seconds. Then I convey my message across to the other person. So it's mainly also to kind of um, uh, lengthen and take that pause so you don't react immediately yeah, and regret your actions. Yeah, they say like the way you breathe is very important. You know how like, you know when you breathe too fast, then your heart pump very fast as well. And that's why angry people, they, their breathing is always very fast as well. So I just take my breathing slowly and let, make sure I pause in between before like I talk to that person. Even though like inside I'm boiling, you know. <laughs> so one tip is that if you have no time for exercise or you know, having a scheduled healthy regime, right? One thing you can do is just to meditate. Take a pause before reacting. Yes. In or, instead of just jumping onto it. Yeah, or sometimes just walk away and then when you feel better, then you come back again. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Gate Gate, for sharing with us. Um, Thank I you. think it was really nice to, you know, hear from you as a female director. And, you know, your lifestyle is really not easy. It's day is night, night is day. Mm. And, you know, just a little tip of meditation. I think that's something that you can all take away. Thank you. <laughs>